I'm Sonia Villaverde. The students know me as Dr. V. I teach for the biology program and I teach uh, human anatomy and physiology. I also teach uh, the dialogue of scientific literacy 200. So I have sophomore students that come from all different majors. Come up as high as you can. I like to incorporate not only the content of the courses, but also how to apply that content in the future decisions in their life, in their career. Um, I also teach them about technology, about science, about appreciating Earth and how to make proper decisions in life. When I first went to college, I actually studied art and photography. And uh, through art, I learned about Leonardo da Vinci. And through him, I learned about science. And that actually started my passion for science. And then now, through Leonardo da Vinci and through the science that uh, was inspired by him, I'm actually uh, passionate about art as well. So that's something very special about me. I've taken students to uh, study tours where we visited Italy and France uh, following the works of Leonardo da Vinci and his science and his art. Yeah, that's one quality that I get from, from everybody that, that knows me is that I'm a very passionate person about what I do. And that's the way that I approach life. That's the way I approach my classes. And that's what I like to share with my students and have them learn to appreciate science not as a boring subject but that's something exciting and that it's an adventure. Don't let me move you. I'm the kind of professor that does not like to stay behind uh, the desk. I actually stand and I, I and walk around the students, sit with the students, uh, I uh, promote student participation, active participation in the classes. We have labs so it's very student oriented. Okay. What makes me proud about the students that come through my class is having them achieve goals that they didn't think they could achieve. I've seen their eyes kind of start to, to spark a little bit more when it comes to science and that's uh, rewarding enough for me.